Today's topic is recursive functions. So what is a recursive function? A recursive function is a function that calls itself either directly or indirectly with the expressed purpose to loop. So here is our function. It's a simple function that takes a list and adds the elements of the list together to get a value. So here I'm going to set this up to already start to show how recursion works. So the first thing that happens is that the function's header is evaluated. The next thing that happens is the caller is evaluated and executed. Then the first branch of the if statement is evaluated and the condition in this case is not met. Why? Because it says if the length of the list is one. That is not the case now. So we pop down to the else statement. Now we get to the return of the else statement and here's where the fun begins. So list zero, the first element of the list, is one. That wants to be added to the sum of everything else in the list. So that would be two and three. However, that calls the function again. So what happens? This creates a new list to be sent to the function a second time. Now the new list, instead of being 1, 2, and 3 at this point, is 2 and 3. That's dictated by that one colon, right? Because that says take that second element of the list, zero-based indexing, right? The original list, 1 would be 0, 2 would be 1, 3 would be 2. So now we have the second and third element of the list. So it's 2 and 3 that's sent to the function for a second time. What happens now? The first branch of the if statement is evaluated and the condition is not met. The first branch having not been met, we jump to the else. Now we go to the return. List 0 is now 2. The first element of the list, remember it was 2 and 3 the second time, so now that first element is 2. We're being instructed to go through the function a third time. Now 1 colon equals 3. It's the only thing left in the list, right? The second element on is now 3. So this starts our cycle for the third time. Now it evaluates the if list equals equals 1. And this time, lo and behold, it's true because there is only one element in the list. So that being the case, it now returns what is list 0 to our caller. As what? As the number 3. That's what happens this time. Now list 0 for that second function call from the first time we went through it remains 2. So at this point, we add that value to the 3 that we got from the third time we went through the function. And this sends back 2 plus 3, 5 to its caller, which is the first time we went through it. Now list 0 from the first function call is still 1. We add that 1 to the value of 5 that we returned back from the second time we went through the function and we get 6. That returns back to the original caller which was our which was nestled in our print statement sum underscore me with the original list of 1, 2, and 3 and that's how it works.